representations of this point. Now, there's two easy ones, and then one that's a little bit more difficult to understand. So we know this is radius 3, so 1, 2, 3, right? R comma theta, 3 pi over 4, we said was in the second quadrant. That's why the cosine of 3 pi over 4 was negative. So we're just going to go negative. It's at like four, reference angle is 45 degrees. So if we're thinking about the angle, it's going to be somewhere right around there. So that's 3 comma 3 pi over 4. Yes? Now, the way that I like to think about this is basically, guys, what they're asking us to do, we can't really change 3. But could we find equivalent angles to 3 pi over 4? Yeah, and we actually have a name for them. We learned them in chapter 3. They're called coterminal angles, right? And how do we find coterminal angles? Add or subtract 2 pi. Or if it's in degrees, 360. So if we're talking about force, 2 pi then is equivalent to 8 pi over 4. Yeah, did you guys agree with that? So could I just take 3 pi over 4 and plus or minus 8 pi over 4 and give me two different, now I could have two different coordinate points? Yep, so I'm going to erase this rectangular work that I did last problem. So what happens when we do plus? If I, do, if I add 8 pi over 4 to this, that gives me 11 pi over 4. And basically what that is doing, guys, is again, here's 3 pi over 4. If you add 2 pi, it's taking you back to the same angle, right? So that's equivalent. And what about if I subtract 2 pi? Then I'm at eight, 3 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4? 5 pi over 4. And let's see, does that make sense? Yeah, that works, right? OK, now we notice here, there's a couple other things. We notice that this is in the second quadrant, meaning cosine's negative and sine is negative, right? So let's think about another one you might think about is what if the radius was negative? Or if we applied a if we applied a vector, like a negative to this, right? That changes. Like if you were to think about this as like, or for instance, if we were to look at this like a vector, if we make that like, if we were to make this negative, what would happen is just like we did with the vector, if we reflect that, that means the x and the y coordinate, or let me think of. Um, what, was the, what was the coordinate point here in rectangular coordinates? It was 3 square root of 2. Um, negative 3 square root of 2. Over 2. And then 3 square root of 2. OK, actually, I should have kept that up there. So that's the rectangular coordinate, right? That's what we figured out last. Like you just multiply 3 times cosine of 3 pi over 4, comma 3 sine pi over. OK, that's that. Now, what if I make this a negative? If I make this a negative, what that does is where does this take this point? It takes it down here, doesn't it? Correct? So I can't just make, I can't just say the new angle, I can't say a new angle is going to be here, but what I can do is I can find this angle and then negate it and make it a negative radius. So what I, another angle I could do, now anybody, so if this reference angle, does anybody know what this reference angle is? So it's pi over 4, reference angle. So then what's this reference angle? You could say it's pi over 4, the reference angle. And then obviously, if we were going with the negative direction, we could say that. So if I wanted to sketch this angle right here, I could write this as 3 comma negative pi over 4. Would everybody agree that's that, coordinate, that's that point down there? Yes? But again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this point actually a reflection up here. Yes? So what I'd want to do, though, is, rem is I don't need to multiply this by a negative here, but all I need to do to represent this dis distribution of my rectangular coordinates, I just need to make the radius negative. And again, the reason why this works is if you were to convert this to rectangular form, you're going to have negative 3 cosine of negative pi over 4. And then you're going to have comma negative 3 times sine of negative pi over 4. And let's just convert this real quick to verify that we did this correctly. Cosine of negative, three, negative pi over 4 is going to be a positive. So it's going to be negative 3 squared of 3 over 2. And then sine down here is going to be a negative. So it's going to be negative 3 times negative squared of 2 over 2. 
And look what happens, guys. It becomes the same as this coordinate point. So when the radius is negative, what that's doing is that's reflecting it about the origin. The x and the y coordinates are changing. Okay. So this is exactly the same as that, which is exactly the same as that, which is exactly the same as that. All right. I know it's confusing, guys. I know. But it just the best way I can tell you to do it is to check.